I want to start big picture and ask you what it means to have this show on view in a moment where there have been many conversations about racial reconciliation, healing, abolition, and mass incarceration. To think about having this particular show about my brother in a courthouse attached to a functioning correctional facility, it's like, damn, that's a lot. <laughs> There's a through line there. Yeah, yeah. Although Kanan will tell us that we know nothing of what it's like to be in prison, emotionally and mentally, I'm tethered to him. We are in front of a work that features letters from your brother. One of the pieces is a 24 by 30 inch silk quilt and on top of it sits the property box that was mailed from Virginia Beach City Jail. This quilt, it's personified as me. I'm holding his belongings and maintaining the value and thinking about all that is stripped from those who are incarcerated and how important these belongings might have been. So for me, creating something of value to hold his valuables. Yeah, yeah. And then just thinking of another way to like introduce my brother into the space, but also our relationship in the vein of yeah. frozen moments in time that captured the best parts of our childhood. My brother Kanan, with us being 13 months apart, we spent so much time together thinking about how close we are and why we were so close, having a military dad, moving around. You might not like me today, but when we move next month, you're gonna need me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be that friend. <laughs> exactly. This one friend you can walk into a new place with. Exactly. So that's an important part of the purpose of having these photos here. Yeah. The time capsule piece, it's like this old nightstand with a quilt that's replicating a blanket from a photo and then an old corded phone a boom box, some CDs, and on the corded phone, there's a QR code where people can scan and hear all these recorded conversations between Kanan and I. Those bonds don't go away in spite of interruption by the state. That is one of the registers that's most profound about what you've offered here. Yeah. And maybe we can think a little bit more about sound because I know you have a video work that's also a part of the installation. The table structure holds a smaller quilt and a TV that plays a video of my mom reading letters that Kanan sent her. To start off, Mommy, I deeply appreciate everything you do for me and have done. I just really liked this idea of thinking about the earliest time of Kanan's incarceration and not only how hard it was for me, also feeling that responsibility towards my mother. So being able to see her reading his letters speaks to what I was supporting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your mom here just reminds me of how many other people we don't necessarily see when we yeah. see a number or stat, right? I wanna talk specifically about quilts and the quilt yeah. in the show. <laughs> the quilt. <laughs> um, maybe we can make our way back there. Yeah. The matriarch now. <laughs> so, here we are. Tell us the name of this quote. This is Security Blanket. Reading the letters from Kanan, I started to understand what his communication means to me just as much as what it means to him and feeling like I have to respond to a letter. I can't miss Kanan's calls. That's what this blanket serves as. I'm in it and it's comfortable, but it could swallow me if I let it. The detail of the project that is the fixed detail are the dimensions of the space because they're the dimensions of his cell. Seeing that portrait of Kanan, that's mentally and emotionally, the way that I feel when I read his handwritten letters. You can see scratched out words and you can see the process of someone's thoughts. And then it feels like he's here. And the portraits of us, our body language speaks to our relationship. Seeing those two little kids describes without having to say how close we are in age. We're like this <laughs> and we look like that in the photo. Kanan drew a picture of his prayer rug. It feels appropriate 
to sit on a similar surface that he sits on multiple times a day. The space creates this energetic connection in my mind. Making this exhibition and these works, have they changed the way you understand abolition? It's easy to have an opinion on what the criminal justice system should look like until it's in your house. Oh, right. <laughs> your invitation is a really beautiful prompt to think about power and healing and even the word justice. So I hope that you feel ecstatic about what you've offered to us because it's very, very potent. 5, 15, 17. Can you believe it's been five months? Just yesterday I was feeling down, so I slept the majority of the day. Sometimes it's hard to accept and believe I'm really in this place. But later that night, I started feeling better. I keep telling myself this will all be over soon. I really want to believe it as much as I say it. Kane and G Swift.